Google kills its products. Google Plus, a social network that could have gotten traction in the current state of Twitter, killed to death. Google Reader, the best RSS reader known to man that was widely used, Exterminated. For no reason. Stadia, video game streaming, executed. Google has killed 281 products called the Google Graveyard. Google kills these products because of lack of interest from the public or just general people inside of Google. Will Google kill off Gmail? I hope not. Will they kill off YouTube? I hope not. It sounds silly, but they might. They've killed off giga popular projects before, but for no reason. The first project Google killed was Google Deskbar, which was killed for a good reason, an obvious reason. It just let you search from your desktop, so nothing too fancy, you know that on your old Windows XP, the little Google search bar? Yeah, that's what they killed first. They're pretty understandable, to be honest, but besides the well, no ones. The most recent one they've, they're they going to kill is Google Optimize. This will be slaughtered in September this year. It was a web analytics tool. Who cares? Not really me. But anyway, here are some interesting products that I found that Google have killed. Google Answers, for which was alive from 2002 to 2006. It was a bit like Yahoo Answers, so, I mean, does anyone use that tool for anything besides entertainment? There was also an interesting snapshot. You know, you've got Google Trends now. There used to be something called Google Zeitgeist, which showed you a, uh, a snapshot of what people were searching for a particular time. Uh, that was alive from 2001 to 2007. There was also Picnic, the photo editing tool. So I didn't actually know this was gone. I used to use it all the time as a kid and Google bought the company. It was just some online photo editing tool, very useful, but no idea why they killed it. I guess they wanted to integrate it with their other products, but who knows at this point. That was alive from 2007 to 2013. There was also Google Map Maker, which was alive from 2008 to 2017. Uh, this was a community-based tool to audit and add details to Google Maps. A bit like OpenStreetMap, and this led to some amusing incidents, I will say. You know, the White House was changed to Edward Snowden, and also a nice little Android, you know, doing its business on an Apple logo. Very cool. Uh, and th these, these types of things, funny as they might be, led to the shutdown of Google Mapping Tool. I mean, we've got OpenStreetMap now, so who really cares, but... I thought it was funny, especially this one, Edward Snowden. <laughs> yeah, boy. Last but not least, there was Google Cardboard. I didn't actually know this had been discontinued. Easy VR, you know, it was the bit of cardboard that you flat pack assemble, put lenses in and shoved your phone in the front. It was Easy VR. Uh, it was cool, I remember using it and actually being blown away that, uh, uh, you know, I was sitting there and I was like a bird and I was flying around and I was like, ooh, very cool. Um, but, you know. Not to be anymore, that was alive from 2014 to 2021. So sometimes Google projects are killed but remade. For example, AngularJS, their JavaScript framework, that was rewritten into Angular V2, but it's it's been killed, but there is a V2 of it, so who really cares? So there is, this. the reason why I'm telling you about this is that sometimes they just kill projects without warning. Gmail might be next. Uh, I don't personally use it too, too much, but I do have a Gmail address. Uh, but some projects I please do not kill Google. Don't kill the Go programming language. I quite like it. Lots of software is written in it, so I really don't think it's going to be killed, and it's giga invested in by Google themselves, so I think we're safe there. Uh, Google Chromium, specifically the open source Chromium. I know they won't kill Chrome because it's their big market share, but maybe they'll close source it one day. Um, who knows? Don't do that. And, and YouTube, obviously, because you're watching me on YouTube, and I quite like making these videos, and I like watching YouTube. I'm maybe a little, little bit addicted. There you go. If you want to find out more, there's this awesome website called Kill, Kill by Google. <laughs> Google doorknob, dead as a doorknob in eight months. Google Optimize was a web analyst. So that's one we talked about before. Anyway, some interesting things in there. A surprising amount of software gets killed by Google, and it's one of the dangers of proprietary software. It can just be killed. You can't fork, you know, Picnic, can you? You can't fork it. Anyway, there we go. Hope you learned something An interesting little factoid about this giga mega company that you might not know. They kill products. Fact. Subscribe or Google will terminate my channel.